I get comments all the time on my videos and my streams asking when will I play on the console version of Hell Let Loose and why don't I play on the console version of Hell Let Loose and this video is going to tell you exactly and show you exactly why I don't do it. So yes, first off this is console footage and I'm playing on my PS5. I am like a rank 2 soldier at this point because when Hell Let Loose released on the PS5 I did stream it very briefly but then I stopped because of, uh, of a few different reasons and I can really feel the pain that some console players have to go through while playing this game. I mean on console Hell Let Loose is such a unique experience. There isn't any other game that's like it on consoles. You get large scale shooters like Battlefield but it's more of a casual experience compared to Hell Let Loose which is more of a we'll say realistic or tactical experience that requires a lot more teamwork and communication. Now unfortunately in this video I recorded it directly through my Elgato capture card using their software and to be able to hear and record the in-game comms you need an extra piece of equipment. It's literally like a wire which I don't have so I can't hear any of the in-game comms. So one of the main issues why I don't play the console version is the performance. I noticed frame drops and stuttering straight away. The game doesn't keep its like 60 FPS, like rarely, it rarely keeps 60 FPS. Even just looking left and right, you get loads of frame drops and stuttering compared to the PC version. Well, yes, you do get frame drops and a bit of stuttering on there. Of course, it depends what PC config you have. I've got a Ryzen 5800X, 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3080. And while I play on complete max settings on the PC version, you still get frame drops and stuff like that. So comparing the console version to the PC version, or at least on my PC, it runs a hell of a lot better on PC and it looks better on PC as well. With my PC, the amount of money I've put into that, I mean, just the graphics card alone, I was lucky enough you know, to get it at MSRP when the RTX 3080s launched, but just that card alone costs more than the PS5. So I am lucky to have like a high powered system that can run this game and other games at high settings and I want to make the most of it. You know, I think if I could play the PS5 or the PC version, I would always go to the PC because it looks better and it will have a higher consistent frame rate for making videos for you guys. Also with the PC version, you get different perks, we'll say. So if you didn't know, I actually have my own private server on Howl Let Loose, something I pay for. And when I make certain videos, like my weapon guides, where I have a target running back and forth, that's on my private server. So I can make sure that I will not get interrupted at all when recording certain things. Or if I want to go into the admin cam and fly around and get different positions for screenshots or other recordings, I can do that. And on consoles, you can't do that. There are no private servers. We know Team 17 are looking into it. I really hope private servers come to the console version because it will open up a lot more opportunities for console players such as, well, private matches, which will then lead into tournaments and maybe leagues. And opening up that competitive play will be such a good thing for the console community. I don't know if there is an active competitive scene in the console version. I know there are console clans, but getting 50 players of each clan onto the same server. I just don't know how you're gonna do it right now for consoles. So I really hope private servers come soon for you guys. But the main reason I don't play on a console, which you can probably gather from some of the footage you've seen, is that I suck. <laughs> I sort of grew up playing games on PCs and consoles, but it was mainly playing on consoles throughout till maybe the 360 generation i was always still playing on pc but most of my gaming was on consoles but there'll be a few games i'll play on pc mainly first person shooters so i do have a lot of experience using actual controllers and controllers playing first person shooters because i'll play games like halo on my xbox and some other shooters which i can't quite remember but I know I definitely have played shooters and I could play Halo pretty damn well and yes Hell Let Loose is different to Halo but if you can aim at someone and shoot them that is going to directly translate across between any shooter but you can see here I just 
really struggle to uh, to hit any shots. So for me, playing any game, I don't want to play a game using the control scheme where I'm going to be terrible. Yes, I could put a lot of time into using the controller to actually get better with it. Or I could just use my mouse and keyboard where I can play just a lot better. Like with the sensitivity and just generally how a mouse works, you can have the real fine tune aiming just by moving your mouse slowly. And then if you want to quickly do a 180 to shoot someone who's behind you, you can just quickly you know, move your mouse and do that. With an analog stick on a controller, you have your sensitivity set. And I'm playing with a low sensitivity because I'm just struggling to line up shots. So I'm having a, a low sensitivity so I can line up those shots, but I still struggle anyway. And that means that I can't quickly turn around. But at the same time, because I'm lacking that experience with a controller, I can't just generally hit many shots anyway. So then, yeah, when it comes down to it, do I play on a console which is less powered and uses a control scheme which is more difficult for me and I think in general is worse for first person shooters or do I play on a PC which can run the game a hell of a lot better and make it look better using a control scheme which is in general first person shooters in my opinion anyway a lot better and something I'm a lot more comfortable with and better with I get comments on my streams, in videos, basically calling me a cheater. I've been accused of cheating on Reddit as well, and I just take those as compliments. If you've seen my uh, streams, I die a lot. I would say over 90% of my games I've got a positive KD ratio. But there's so many situations and circumstances where I just die because I just can't shoot someone. So anytime, yeah, I get uh, accused of cheating, it's like a... A feather in my cap. It's like a, an acknowledgement that I am good at the game. And yeah, I would say I am good at Hell Let Loose. But I know there's tons of people that are better at the game in terms of playing with the mechanics and people that are better at killing people. I would recommend to any console player to try Hell Let Loose on a PC. I know it's a bit more difficult to get a PC because they are just a lot more expensive but Hell Let Loose on a PC in my opinion is better and yes while I have that same uh, controller issues playing on a console where I'm just not good with a controller I know some console players will have those same issues when moving to a PC using a mouse and keyboard you can use a controller on the PC version but I would highly recommend practicing with a mouse and keyboard and there's plenty of free to play aim training games we'll call them out there like aim lab where you can just go in and there's just a whole bunch of training exercises tracking targets quickly snap shooting targets where you know you can play that in essentially a single player environment to get better at using mouse and keyboard and it's something i would highly recommend so I hope you enjoyed this video of me dying and being terrible at Hell Let Loose on a console. Let me know what you think of Hell Let Loose on a console down in the comments below. Do you prefer consoles to PCs? Just let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.